a lot of favorites. <laughs> so stick with me and I'll show you my favorites that I have for triathlons. There's a lot of them. All right, so one of my first favorites I wanna to show to you is my Ufos. So I wear Ufos literally right now, I'm wearing the flip-flops. These are the Ufos low shoe that I wear. I love wearing these around the house, running errands, picking up the kids, taking them anywhere. I absolutely love them. They are just so comfortable and they do have arch support. Definitely something that's really important to me, especially after having foot surgery. I really wanted something that would be would aid in my recovery as a triathlete, be comfortable and also protective for my feet. And Ufos definitely does that. I wear these everywhere. I even have a set of clogs that I wear to work as well and they help protect my feet for long 12, 13 hour shifts at work. One of my next favorites that I have is one of my fuel belts. It is literally called fuel belt. That is the brand. So this has been one of my favorites for many, many years. I think I have literally had this belt for 10 plus years. I have tried other belts and they do the job, but they just don't seem to fit comfortably and ride up. So if you've had a fuel belt, you'll notice that fuel belts can tend to ride up and they kind of get annoying and half your workouts literally trying to push down your fuel belt so that it doesn't ride up against your waist. This one always seems to stay very secure. It has this Velcro closure and you can Velcro it. It also has a size, so small, medium, and large, and I believe extra large, and you can pick your size. I believe this one's a medium. I'm like borderline medium, small, because um, this one I really cinched down, but it fits really well. It's easy for me to access my hydration and nutrition. I love chews, that works really well for me, you know, all the way up to 17, 18 mile runs. I can have chews in here, maybe a few things in my back are like my jersey um, as I'm running. And then these bottles, they work great for me. Uh, I put Gatorade in them, I could put none in them. And it just seems to work really well for me. And it's been one of my favorites for many, many years. And again, it's Fuel Belt. So you can find these on Amazon, running stores. I actually found this one at TJ Maxx years ago. And sometimes they still have them, I'm seeing them. So they're a great find if you can find them. I think I got this one for like $15 at TJ Maxx. Amazon I think has them anywhere from $20, $30, $40. And you can have more bottles or less bottles. I have one that has just two bottles and there's others I think they go all the way up to six bottles. So you can really kind of customize it to what your needs are. But this works great for all my long runs. One of the other belts that I have that I actually use for a lot of my Run Disney races that I had questions about from other viewers was what belt do you use for Run Disney races? And this is literally an Amazon belt. I typed in cell phone holder fuel belt and this is what it popped up. It was like $7.99 on Amazon last year and I like it because it has this front pouch which is uh, Velcroed and then on the top is also a zippered pouch. And it just works really well for me to store my phone in the top, which I use for photos for all my stops at Run Disney. And then the front pouch, I can put nutrition, chapstick, band-aids, whatever I may need that, you know, I want quick access to, which is usually my fuel. So this works really well. This was also something I added on. This orange thing is from the dollar store. They usually have them, um, you know, kind of like in the car organization, beauty area. And it's just a Velcro closure, and I usually end up putting nutrition in it. And what's funny is this one still has Run Disney Nutrition in it that I got around like mile 24. And it's just candy. And this is just another place, again, that you could just add things. And it was for a dollar, it allowed me to add it to the back of the strap. And I was able to use this to run through Run Disney. And I also use this at home for some of my shorter runs where I just want to have a phone on me for safety. I have two favorite pants. So now that it's getting colder, here in Kansas City, we got snow on Halloween and it was quite the surprise. It was not a treat, it was a trick. So I had to pull out my pants. So last year on being on the Tri Serena team, I picked up these winter pants or winter tights. And they have this nice band around them. It says Tri Serena. But one of my favorites is that it has a pocket on the side. And this pocket on the side is great because it allows me to store nutrition, my phone, or whatever just little things that I need for my run. So I can go out for a three, four, five mile run, not carry a belt, and still be able to just put on my pants and slide a cell phone right into there. They're super comfortable. I love how the waist feels against me, and they don't ride up, they don't ride down, and the fabric is so soft. 
So try Serena. They have amazing comfortable pants. My next favorite set of pants are slightly different. So again, they are kind of compression tights. So I like to wear these for my longer runs. So again, when you're on your feet more, that blood is really gonna start to pool near your feet and you really wanna kind of get that blood flow returning back as much as possible. So these are CWX, it's the brand. These pants are great. Not only for the compression, so those long runs when you really want some compression against your legs and help with the blood return, you'll see that they also have these reinforced markings along the legs. And this is for those injury prone areas that a lot of runners get. So our knees, our medial and lateral side of our lower legs, and then also coming up along our quadriceps and kind of even into the back of our hamstrings. I have been using these for probably the last three years and I really, really like them. They've held up well. The only thing that didn't hold up well was the string inside of it. It started to fray at the end. But other than that, these have been amazing pants. I just absolutely love how they make my legs feel post long run. So my favorite pair of running shoes, the brand is Hoka, without a doubt. I absolutely love Hoka brands. I do a lot of shoe reviews, talking to you about comparisons of all the different models and what I like about them, what they're different and how they're similar. But the shoe I've been going to lately has been the Hoka Bondi 6. I've tried previous models and they just didn't seem to work for me and they always ended up going back to like running warehouses where I would purchase them. And I just didn't care for them. So I picked these up at runningwarehouse.com and they're hefty, they're $159, but they have been holding up so well for cross training, so like ellipticals, stepping machines, walking, and recently, in the last few months, I've been using them for running and I've really enjoyed them and how they protect my, my feet, my legs, my knees, my joints, all of that. They feel so good underneath my feet. I can still feel the road, but I know that I'm protected with a Hoka Bondi. So inside of my Hoka, my other favorite that I add to absolutely every single shoe that I have are the Pinnacle Power Step insoles. These work really well because they have a very high arch support and those really protect my arches. I have a very high arch, a very narrow foot. I had to have for surgery for plantar fasciitis and it was not fun. I was out of running and triathlons for over a year, lots of PT, lots of time off and I promised to myself I would always spend the money to take care of my feet so I would never have to go through that again. So the Power Step Pinnacles are what works great for me. I like the high arch. There's a little bit of cushioning into them. They wear really well. I have not had a Power Step Pinnacle insole fall apart like where they kind of like piece apart before the running shoe ever. And I've been using these for seven years and I love them. I picked these up on amazon.com. They usually run around 30 to $35, but they are well worth the money and your feet will thank you. So again, with the weather getting cold outside, I've really had to pull out some of my winter weather gear. And you're probably gonna be really surprised by this one. But my favorite glove that I use when I run are these, and they're from the dollar store. So they are just the cheapo depot dollar store gloves. They work so well. They're not too hot, not too cold. They don't squeeze my fingers so I don't have circulation running through them. They just work really well. And sometimes when I'm running, even in races, these are great to just pitch when you're running because it's a dollar. I'm not gonna worry about it. So I've done a nutrition video before and I can link that in the comments or I can link that above for you as well about all the different things that I use for like my Ironman triathlons, run Disney races, but the two things that go with me literally to every single race and every single training run is going to be my honey stingers. So my honey stinger bites are one of my favorites because they taste well. They're not so sticky that they stick in your teeth and you're like trying to get it out and people are like, what is that lady doing on the side of the road? Like picking her teeth and running. These work so well. There is 160 calories in one package and they taste really well with lots of varieties of flavors. So my favorite is the Cherry Cola. I have a Diet Pepsi addiction and it's okay because I know that I have that addiction. But 
I know that I love the Cherry Cola. This one actually has caffeine just like my Diet Pepsi addiction does and they just taste amazing. They have other flavors like Tropical Smoothie, Pomegranate, Strawberry, Tangerine, and I've tried every single one of them and I've not found a flavor that I would not buy again. My next go-to nutrition that I always have is my base salts. So I bought a really big container. When I say big, it's like this big container of base salts. Just add to this container that just pops up this lid and I just kind of tip it back, put a little bit on my tongue, let it dissolve, close the lid, put it right back into my nutrition belt again. And this base salt really helps for like when I feel like my stomach's starting to get upset or I know I want a really salty snack. That's kind of like my clue in my mind that, hey, I need a little bit of salt. So every about 40 minutes, I'll take a little bit of salt. And this has helped with my stomach and helped with also cramping for those long runs, long rides. And I really have liked base salt. Base salt is something I tried at Ironman Chattanooga 2018 and it saved my run because I needed salt and this was the thing that saved me. One of my favorite compression garments that always goes with me to every long endurance race, run, triathlon, Ironman is going to be my compression socks. And my favorite brand that I have found is the 2XU. They're a really good brand, again, that kind of helps with that circulation, keeping that blood flow return from your feet. You know, kind of pooling down on those lower distal areas. And this really, really helps with not only my race and helping my calves and lower legs just kind of feel put together and feeling like they're not falling apart, <laughs> but also it helps me feel better post-race. So one good example is after an Ironman, I'm torn up pretty much everywhere. Since I started wearing these probably eight years ago in Ironmans, not this exact pair, but 2XU, my legs never in my calves have felt shredded as much as when I wear these brands of compression socks. Another example that I use these for is I will wear these on the half marathon for Run Disney when I do the Dopey Challenge. Because the Dopey Challenge, you have a 5K, 10K, half marathon, and full marathon. And in those races, you need to be ready for your next race each day. And I like to wear these so that the next morning when I wake up, I feel like I don't have shredded, torn up, tired, sore legs. And these help you get to the start line every day. So I'm old school when it comes to listening or music devices for my runs. This is something I actually can use in the pool too. I don't listen to music when I ride just for safety factors. But what I use is the old iPod shuffle. Sadly, you cannot find these anymore because Apple decided not to make them anymore. And I absolutely love them because you can just use the clip, clip them on anywhere. You don't need a carry in case it's not heavy and you can just push a button and go to your next song. I absolutely love the shuffle. This one is a unique one. It's a audio flood, so it's protected from water. So I can actually wear this while I swim. I clip it on the back of my swimming cap and goggles and I have special earbuds that go with them and I can listen to music while I swim underwater and it's actually very good clarity and it makes swimming up and down those black lines in the pool so much more doable. So I really like my iPod Shuffle, especially the iPod Shuffle Audio Flood. And you can pick this up on Amazon.com. I know the prices have gone up because, however, they can't make them anymore. But it is a great gift if you're thinking of something and they work great. I use the old school earbuds for when I run. This is not Bluetooth capable, so I can't use a device that would be like Bluetooth or wireless. So I still have to use the old earbuds. But one of the next things that I love is my watch. So my Garmin Phoenix is one of my favorites. I have used Garmin watches for the, probably the last four years. I've had different models. And Garmin Phoenix 5S is my favorite because not only does it allow you to swim, bike, run, walk, and it literally does everything for you. Like I'm swimming laps and I can look in the pool and know how many yards I've gone. I don't have to keep in my head hey, was that a 800 or was that a 900 that I just completed? This watch does that for me. Same thing with cycling. I can look down here. I know how much I've ascended. I know how many miles. I know how fast. I know my pace. I know my VO2 max. It's endless. There's so much data, but it's so useful. And then it links up to my phone. And when it leaks onto my Garmin Connect app on my phone, I can see all that data and I can see how I'm improving. And it really helps me train because I know if I'm improving 
or if I'm not improving and some of the things that I need to do to change so that I can get. So my favorite goggles I have been using are the Aquasphere goggles. And the reason I like these is that they're, they're like a mask, but your nose is still exposed, but they feel very comfortable on your face. I don't walk out of the swimming pool with raccoon eyes very much anymore. Now I might have some goggle lines, but they go away much quicker than they used to when I had the goggles that were inside of like the orbits of my eyes. These work really well. They're comfortable. They're great for triathlons, for like sighting. I can see so much more. And I switched to these about two years ago and it has been life changing in swimming. It's so much more comfortable and I can see so much more. One of my recovery tools that I use for, it looks like a Chinese torture device. <laughs> but when I had my foot surgery, they requested that I started a stim or Graston technique. And you can Google it. But basically what all these different devices do is they scrape your skin. But it hurts so good. And what it does is as runners, endurance athletes, we build up a lot of scar tissue. In our muscles, we start to build up the scar tissue. And what it does is it helps, it makes us stiff, it makes our muscles feel fatigued, and we just get tight. And Graston and ASTEM technique, they really help to scrape those tissues. So definitely my foot is one of the areas that I use the most because those are my prone areas. But the side of my foot, the side of my leg, um, you can use them on your hamstrings, your glutes, your calves, and it, you will be amazed how good you feel after you do this. I use a little bit of lotion just to kind of help with like the friction so I'm not getting any friction burns as I'm doing this, but it feels so good. And trust me, that next day that you run, you will feel so much better. I picked up this kit on amazon.com. I think it was around $10. Um, you can find these at like your local running stores as well, but man, Amazon, if you've got Prime, it was here in two days. I had multiple options to pick from. This one had just all the different shapes and different um, uses that I wanted specifically for my foot. So Amazon allowed me to kind of shop through online and pick the one that was going to work the best for me. So one of the things that I like to use that's not necessarily a training thing, but something I like to wear and something that kind of motivates me is inspirational jewelry. And one of the things that I have is this necklace. It says, I can, I will. And it's just this long necklace that kind of comes down the center of your chest. And it's really nice to add to, you know, work attire or just, you know, like a shirt like I'm wearing around the house, kind of to dress up any outfit. But inspirational jewelry is fun to have. You can get bracelets, you can get earrings, you can certainly choose necklaces like I have. And it's nice to just kind of look at to remind yourself on those tough days when you're thinking, I don't want to go work out, it's so early, or I don't want to work today, I'm so tired. And these inspirational jewelries really help. I found this one actually on Amazon.com and it was only around $10. And even for you guys, they have rings as well. And you can add the wording inside of the band. You can add it to the outside of it. Maybe the name of your children, whatever it is, whatever motivates you. It's a nice way to just add a touch to your day to kind of remind you why you do what you do. One of my favorites that I have to have when I cycle is my cami cream. This is a women specific, so pH formula. So what you do is you just put this inside of your shorts or on your lady parts, or you men can use it as well, but you can put this on and this will help with saddle sores, irritation, kind of that redness, the burning, the pressure sores that you'll get. And this really, really does make a difference. Another recovery device that I use is my roller. This is an R3 roll recovery. And again, one of my kind of troubled areas is my feet. So I need to roll them out. And just kind of like that Graston technique that I previously showed you, this is something that you can lay on the floor and roll your feet up against it. And it'll help break up that scar tissue. And this really helps break that up, break it down so I can get back out there and start training again. I hope you guys enjoyed some of my favorites. Leave comments below. Do you use any of the things that I use? Is there something that you really like that I miss? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. Is there something else that you guys would like to see? You can also comment below. Is there a video that you would like me to cover? Some subjects? Just let me know and I will make sure to get it to you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will be seeing you guys around. Goodbye everybody.